Hello Diva Tribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to another day. It's February 15. A bird just swooped past me just now. And it is the title, See What God Does. And our scripture text is Psalms 143 verse 5 and it reads, I recall everything you have done. I think about you all the time and Auntie Kay, let's read that properly. It says, I recall everything you have done. I think about all you have made. If you've ever been sick or gotten an infection, chances are you've had to take some medicine. Once you swallow that medicine, you can't see it anymore. You know it's there because it's fighting germs or bacteria or doing whatever it's supposed to do to make you feel better. Sometimes we describe something by telling what it looks like. Other times, we describe it by telling what it does. We usually describe medicine by talking about what it does. It soothes a sore throat. It stops itching. It makes a headache go away. Since we can't see God, sometimes it's best to describe him by talking about what he does. The Bible often describes God that way. God creates. There are many stories in the Bible that show God as creator. The most obvious, of course, is the story of creation of the world in Genesis 1. God spoke and it appeared. Remember how God made sure the flour and oil hadn't run out for Elijah, the widow, and her son? You can find that story in 1 Kings 17. He is still creating. Every morning, he creates a new day for us. Every moment, he is ready to create in us a pure heart. Psalms 51 and 10. God saves. He saved Noah from the flood. He saved Esther and her people from Hamon, Hamnon. He saved Jonah by arranging for him to be swallowed by a great big fish. He sent his son to save the world from sin. God is still saving. What he has created, he wants to save. God creates. God saves. God forgives. He blesses. He punishes. He guides. He calls. We can see in the Bible what God has done. We can see all around us what he is doing. We can learn about God by seeing what he does. And our Heavenly Father, he is kind because he allowed us all to wake up this morning. He is loving because he has allowed us to be able to do the things that we would like to on this day. Our Heavenly Father, he forgives because he sent his son to die on an old rugged cross for you and I. I love that loving God and I hope you do too. See you tomorrow.